Someone says something about a boxing glove. Is there one in the pub? Answer, no. Use this one. Ain't they gonna look stupid? Ten episodes, no glove. Suddenly, episode 11, one's hanging on the wall. It's been agreed. By who? By me. I'm not allowing it on. Listen, pal. If it wasn't for me, you would be out of the job. What, you own all the props in the world, do you? No. Well, then you're wrong. <laughs> oh, shit! Carl, sit down! Sit! Dave, do me a favour, mate. Can you stick the glove on the wall? Yeah, of course, Tom. No problem. <laughs> Sugar and spice. <laughs> Steady on, boys. It's not easy for Simon. OK, let's try again. Oh, oh shit! Oh. Uh, right, um, OK, off we go. Simon, into first. Shouldn't you leave a note? No, we're driving off. Quickly now. Drive! Drive! We seem to have hit it off rather well, Hazel and I. And um, I was just wondering if there are any, well, pointers you could give me at all. OK. Really? But apparently you have to go really gentle, is the thing. I hardly dare ask how it all went in the end last night. Yes. Well, uh, after what you suggested, uh, you know, the most important thing was... To go really gentle. No. You said, go really mental. That's what I think you said. I want to know the causes of atrial fibrillation. Well, all of them? All 14. You mean 21? 21? It's all right. They've gone now. Can we change some joggers? Oh, don't make me do it again. Just one more time. Just one more time. Just one more time. Just one more time. I've come to see the nurse. Oh, yeah, Mr. McLean. Come in to have that thing removed. The, the, the plaster, yes. No, the Veruca on the side of your face. <laughs> it's, it's not a Veruca. It, it, it's, it's a beauty spot. You okay? Yes, uh, I just wanted to say thank you. What for? Your advice. I've had that thing removed. For years I was lying to myself. It was ugly. It was eating away at my self-esteem. Now, at last, I feel good about myself. What do you, what do you think? It's a start. <laughs> what? Your nose is still too big and your ears stick out. Some bloke trespasses in my garden, causes criminal damage, and you say I could be the one done for assault. You did punch him several times in the face. Yeah, and I'd do exactly the same again, given half the chance. It's lucky I didn't give him a proper hiding. Unfortunately, we rather frown on vigilantism. You are. That idiot broke my fence. And in return, you gave him a black eye, for which you'll probably be found guilty of ABH. Oh, I'm not listening to this anymore. Are you going to charge me or what? No. Then why have you brought me down here? All that. And Russ is going to be here with the weather, aren't you, Russ? If you say so, Sarah. If you say so. Now, you're a Norfolk man, Russ. Indeed so, Philip. Ugly teachers there or not? Well, I, I should be a bit careful what I say here, what with the old wife being a teacher. Oh, goodness me, yes. Uh, we wouldn't want to see you grounded again. No, indeed. Grounded again? Let's not ask, I think, Sarah. No, best not, perhaps. I'm intrigued. Let's not go there. Moving on, moving on. I'm leaving Mrs. Russ out of this altogether, then. What do we, uh, what do we think of our teachers? Well, speaking personally, I think a lot depends on the subject. Oh, right. Now, you're thinking languages here, aren't oh, you? I'm saying nothing, Philip. But we did have a French assistant one summer at the school I went to. Oh, don't, please. Honestly, you too. I'm not saying anything, Sarah. Best plan, mate. Don't go there, old lad. Mais non. N'allez pas là. Oh, n'allez pas là. Nous allons, nous allons. Well, she obviously taught you a good deal, Russ. <laughs> Alors, Sarah, n'allons nous pas là. Vraiment, vraiment. Honestly, les hommes. More from Russ later.